Okay, so question four. What is the Lewis structure of sodium hydroxide? Okay, so when we write out Lewis structures, I like to first figure out uh, my total number of valence electrons. So for sodium, there is one valence electron. Oxygen, there are six valence electrons. And for hydrogen, there is one valence electron as well. And adding them all up, we get a number of eight electrons in total. Okay, so if we were to start off writing the Lewis structure the conventional way, typically you would just write sodium bonded with oxygen, bonded with hydrogen. And then if we were to fill out the rest of the electrons, so we have one, two, three, four, since each bond contains two electrons, and I need eight in total, I need to write two more on the oxygen. But if we look at this structure, nor like normally you'd be done, but you can see here that uh, sodium doesn't have a full octet. So we know we need to draw this as an ionic bond instead of a covalent bond. Okay, so this will not be our structure. When we have an ionic bond, this means that sodium will give one of its electrons to the oxygen. So now it has a plus one charge, and it, it's able to satisfy the octet rule since it has a full shell once it gives away one electron. So now, I can show our oxygen that now has six valence electrons and it is single bonded to the hydrogen. Okay, so this gives us our Lewis structure for sodium hydroxide. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Sodium hydroxide is an ionic compound. This means that it is made up of ions, namely the sodium ion and the hydroxide ion. Sodium ion has a charge of plus one, and the hydroxide ion has a charge of minus one. To construct the structure, let us first sum the valence electrons. Sodium has one valence electron, oxygen has six, and hydrogen has one. So the sum of the valence electrons in the compound is eight. Next, we use two electrons to form a bond between the atoms. In figure one, we used four electrons to form four, two bonds. This leaves us with four electrons. Now we assign the electrons to satisfy the octet and duet rule. Uh, sodium has a completely filled valence shell, but does not have a complete octet. 
Hydrogen 2 has a completely filled valence shell. The difference between them is that hydrogen cannot have more than two electrons, while sodium can. Lastly, oxygen still requires four electrons for us to satisfy the octet rule. We can assign the remaining electrons to oxygen, but then sodium will not have a complete octet. Also, the structure in figure 1 shows that sodium and oxygen are bonded to each other via a covalent bond, not an ionic bond. This means that this structure is wrong. Instead of forming a covalent bond between sodium and oxygen, sodium ejects its single valence electron, giving it a positive charge and giving it an octet of valence electrons. The electron is obtained by oxygen, giving it a negative charge. Thus, we just need to form a bond between oxygen and hydrogen, then we assign the remaining electrons to oxygen. Oops, so they wrote out the same Lewis structure that I did as well. As seen in figure 2, the formal charges of the atoms match our expectations, and the bond between sodium and oxygen is now an ionic bond. Thus, this is the correct structure. So this solution is correct. Thank you.